The Nigerian prison service appears to be undergoing some pressure as facilities are overstretched. However, much more can be done if the opportunities inherent are explored. Stand by for details. Behind these walls are persons who have allegedly run foul of the laws of the land, remanded upon conviction or awaiting trial. In the meantime, they are expected to go through the process of reformation, rehabilitation and reintegration, goals that are becoming harder to achieve as a result of limited resources to fend for the overpopulated prisons. The medium prisons Kirikiri, for example, has a holding capacity of 1,700 inmates. However, as at the day we visited, over 3,500 inmates were on ground, putting extra pressure on the already impoverished infrastructure and resources. We can improve the service by improved funding. That's one of our major constraints. Now, we have gone to see developed countries, our prisons are being run. The facilities that we have, most of them in Nigeria are obsolete and overstretched because of the population. Now, so if, we, if there's improved funding, all the facilities that are supposed to be in place will be in place. No doubt some people will be incarcerated. But for the controller of prisons here, it must be for the right reasons. Because of the policy of the Lagos State government now to read the state of or the streets of uh, miscreants and street traders, that accounts for the rising in the population of the of the inmates here. You know, most of the time when they get to court, they adjourn their case. The cases get adjourned several times. So I think that's a major reason why you, you, you have this. Why not have alternative to imprisonment, like community service? Prison should not be the last resort. Why countries like Sweden are closing down prisons with a significant decrease in recidivism? It appears to be totally opposite here. According to the Executive Director of Prisons Fellowship, certain fundamentals must be addressed. First and fundamental, the issue of social injustice must be addressed. Because most of the people in prison are the poor and the downtrodden. These are people who, because of socioeconomic circumstances and other issues, somehow run foul of the law. We are not excusing crime. No, it must happen. Prison is a social institution. You must have it. However, there must be a response, a purposeful response to it. And the first is to create an enabling environment, good social justice that ensures the basic minimums. The second is that our criminal jurisprudence must change. We have had a predilection for deterrence. Deterrence has never worked. It will not work. We should emigrate to having a more humane and therapeutic system of justice. At the maximum prison, a workforce that seems underutilized is building. They've acquired various skills and now churning out finished products. What you've seen today, you can see that uh, the government is trying its best, even though the, non, the NGOs are also assisting us. But by and large, the government is uh, trying its best to ensure that uh, more money is pumped into the system to ensure that the inmates are well reformed. And uh, in this regard, we have a lot of work going on in some of the prisons, like you have the cottage industry. You have workshops that are training the inmates. The inmates have been trained by officers in various vocations. One of the formulas of the Samson's equation that says, plus or minus this game, square this game on the For those who are interested in furthering the academic pursuit, the National Open University gives them a platform, which, according to the Vice Chancellor, Covenant University 
can be explored by other institutions. A way of doing that is leveraging on the ICTs, so you don't have to physically use the same manpower and uh, multiply the factors. No, you can use the same manpower to reach people maximally. You have open courses, online courses, massive open online courses. An imbalanced or ineffective criminal justice system has been fingered as a contributory factor to the congestion of our prisons today, which usually saddens inmates with stringent bail conditions and unending adjournments. For uh, every inmate to accept justice, I simply say that uh, they need to attend court as at when due. Uh, what has been our constraints uh, has been logistics. Why? Because if we look at the number of courts we cover uh, all over, uh, it's more than what uh, we have as logistics to take them. I want to believe that uh, uh, the prison service is trying at their level, but uh, the government should help uh, because it's a social service and want to give back to the society. Hence, once uh, there is a motivation in all this aspect of criminal justice system, I want to believe that uh, uh, the problem will be uh, largely solved. To make the prisons turn out people better than they were before going in, which is rarely the case today, an efficient judicial process, increased government funding, individual and corporate support must be instituted for these inmates. Otherwise, upon their release, they may have an axe to grind with the society.